So, Series 12 is a matter of days away at the time of recording and hopefully at the time of release because this video is pointless if I get it out after the series starts. Uh, so I thought it would be a good time to talk about my hopes for Series 12. It is two days away, I think. Is it the tw Yeah, two days away. It's Christmas Eve, not Christmas Eve. It's New Year's Eve tomorrow. So that means I've got two days until the first episode of Series 12. So... I thought I would do a video about what my hopes are for the series. Now, these aren't going to be ones that we already know. There are lots of things that I hoped for a year ago, just after Resolution, that we would get in Series 12, that we now know we're getting. So we know we're getting returning villains. We've got the Cybermen. We've got the Jadoon. We've got the Daleks, probably in next year's festive special, but we, we've got them coming. So we know we're getting returning monsters. That's definitely something I wanted. But this isn't things like that. This isn't things we now know are happening. So we know we've got returning villains. We already know we've got changes to the TARDIS interior. It's, it's not a complete makeover, but I understand why they wouldn't do that. You know, they've just built that set, effectively. They want to keep it for a few years. But they've made some changes. That's nice too. They've gotten more guest writers. Chris Chibnall is writing less episodes, which I think is good because then he can concentrate on putting out the overall series and doesn't have to rush to get individual scripts done. I think that, uh, I think last year the stronger episodes were the ones written by the guest writers, so the fact that we're getting a higher proportion of guest writers in this year to the showrunner writing them I think is a good thing. And we're getting returning guest writers as well. So we've got uh, Ed Himes back uh, and a few others. So people that wrote some really good episodes last year are writing ones this year. So they're all things that I did want for this series, but we know we're already getting them. What do I want that we don't know we're getting? Now, I should say some of this stuff is stuff that we've maybe gotten hints that we might be getting, but we don't know for certain. The first one is a plot-based story arc. We had some great character story arcs last year with Graham and Ryan and their relationship and dealing with Grace's death. That was all a great character arc for them over the series. But what we didn't have is a plot-based character, plot-based story arc. And I think it needs it this year. There's definitely been hints in the trailers that we'll be getting something like that, something coming for the Doctor. Hopefully that's not going to just be a, a one episode and one and done thing. Hopefully that might form part of this larger story arc, but definitely want to see a story arc. Um, one that has a big impact on the characters and that isn't... I don't. What I don't want is a story arc in the sense that Russell T. Davis did story arcs in the where you just get a word thrown in here and there. I want a proper story arc that plays into episodes throughout the series not necessarily every episode by all means have standalones but I want it to sort of play into different episodes at different points so maybe like a couple of episodes in the middle of the season being heavily linked into the story arc and then uh, you know in a sort of similar way to the X-Files used to do if you remember the X-Files they used to have the opener of the season be heavily part of the ongoing story arc something in the middle be heavily involved in that and then something at the end and then all the ones in between were were a bit more loose loose and individual storylines something like that would be nice also on the story arcs basis my second thing i would like to see is another character story arc i want to see something that's not connected to the main plot arc the main plot story arc but something that is very much a character piece because i think that's what you Chris Chimnall does really well. He does character drama really well. That's where he excels. And he did some brilliant stuff with Graham and Ryan last year. I'd like to see something, maybe, and this links into my next point, because I want more for Yaz to do. Yaz was very much left to the side. She was a bit of a third wheel in the group last year. She didn't have much to do in most episodes. Even in the episode that was meant to be focused around her family... She kind of felt a bit like a third wheel. And she didn't ever really feel like a policewoman. So I think they need to do more with her, which is my third point. But I think it could link into this second point as well. And have the sort of emotional story arc element, uh, character story arc element, be about Yaz. I think something where she's trying to find her, her place in the universe, you know, her purpose, uh, would be quite good. I think... We saw hints of that in The Woman Who Fell to Earth. She wasn't feeling very fulfilled in her job at that particular moment as a policewoman. She she felt she could do more and was trying to get her superiors to let her do more than just, you know, dealing with domestics. 
So I think something that ties into that would be quite nice. And you could maybe expand that out to sort of how she feels about her role within the, the TARDIS fam as well. The TARDIS team. Something like that that goes over the whole series would be quite nice. We definitely, definitely need more with Yaz though. I want an iconic new villain. We know we're getting lots of returning villains. Great. But I also want an, a nice iconic new one. A, a species that can return again and again. From... Moffat's era we got the silence which returned several times and I and I could possibly see returning again in Russell D Davis era we had the introduction of the weeping angels and also we had the I suppose you could kind of count the Slovene they returned a few times maybe they're not that iconic but you know I still think the Slovene could return and, and something really good could be done with them you know we've had his established Things that you think of as that era's, you know, iconic monster that has gone on to be in multiple stories. And I think we need something like that for this series as well. Something that's brand new that we've never seen before that can do, you know, really capture the imagination of the audience and hopefully return in maybe next year, maybe in like five years time. You know, something that has the scope and breadth to it in the in the background and the story and the uh, you know the makeup of the character to be something that we could see in future stories or we could imagine seeing in future stories we need that as well and finally my last point i would like something really impactful to happen to the characters over the course of the series in the series finale would be good so that it impacts them going into series 13 something that hits them on an emotional level I'm thinking character death of a companion. Um, I'm thinking maybe Graham. I think there's maybe some hints that that has been, that may be coming. But then maybe he'll do a Stephen Moffat and hint heavily that a character's going to die. Show them dying and then, oh no, they've, they've come back again. They're fine. <laughs> Hopefully not. I want to see something, it doesn't have to be a character death. But something that will really impact the characters and change them as people going forward. Something like that would, I think is necessary and to make it a really... I, what I love about uh, Chris Chibnall's series so far and his era is the kind of grounded emotional take on it. And I think to keep that going, you need something like this. You need something that's going to really change the lives of these people going into the next series. So that's just five quick things that I thought I would rattle off about series 12 and what I hope we might get from it. What are your thoughts? What do you want in the next series that we don't already know we're getting um, or already know we're definitely not getting? What What do you think? Let me know in the comments below and um, I've got, I'm going to be reviewing every episode of series 12 as soon as it airs so I will make my notes rush up here record the video and get it out as quickly as I can every night so do check out the channel every week every Sunday night for those thanks for watching and I will see you soon goodbye